Hello, I'm Jordan and I'm with uh, Advanced Test Equipment Corporation and today we're going to do a how-to video on the NH Research 9300. Each cabinet is capable of 1200 volts as well as 100 kilowatts. You can put them in parallel to max at 2.4 megawatts and in the video today we're going to be going over charge, discharge, they emulate batteries and then the software as well. Your first step is to come over to the back of the unit and below you have your AC three phase input connections as well as your ethernet communication ports to parallel the units uh, and plug them into your software. At the top you have your DC UUT output ports. Here's your on switch. This is what it looks like after it's, well, it's turning on, and then in order to enable the charge and discharge, you can make sure this is on ready as well. Here's your emergency stop button. Once it's hit, it's not going to function at all unless you give it a little turn to make it pop back out. So each cabinet's capable of 1200 volts. Right here, you see it only goes up to 600, but that's because your current can go up to 334 amps. To adjust that, you can hit more, set operating range, and change your voltage to 1200 volts. Hit OK. Now you have up to 1200 volts and 167 amps. To place the unit in charge, you would hit on, settings and change the operating mode to charge. Here we are controlling the current draw through an external DC load at 100 volts. Limits will vary and are dependent on your DUT test and specs. Currently we're on meter mode but you can change it to chart mode by pressing this button on the bottom right corner right here. To set the unit in discharge mode, you would turn it on, hit settings, change the operating mode to discharge. Here we are using the NH Research 9300 as a DC load, drawing 50 amps. Limits will depend on your DUT test and specs. To get to the battery emulator mode, you would hit settings, battery, and you can adjust the voltage and the other settings as needed. Next, we'll talk about how to use the unit remotely. The first step is going to be by plugging in the ethernet cable into the NHR network port. So after plugging in the ethernet cable into my PC and installing the power panel software, I'm able to control the unit remotely and access the same settings as I did on the actual unit as so.